so I thought we'd do a little video of the dogs. So this is Patricia. She came from South Korea. She was actually adopted, I believe, to a family in New York. And after a couple of weeks, it wasn't working out. So Save Korean Dogs contacted me and um, see if we could take her. So she came up to Maine. She was very, very nervous, very scared. Um, but she settled in. The dogs welcomed her and she settled in and here she is. She became very, very bonded with Colt, who is here. And uh, we ended up getting them adopted together. However, that only lasted three months. They both came back. Um, and here she is. No, stop it. Still waiting for her forever family to find her. She's adorable. She's going to be a little bit skittish when you first get her home, which is kind of to be expected, especially from what she's been through coming from South Korea from the meat trade, traveling over here on her own, living in an apartment with this person for two weeks, coming up to Maine, getting settled here, being adopted, so being taken away where she feels safe, getting settled, feeling comfortable and being brought back here, getting settled here, and then obviously, hopefully, very soon, taken away to your new home. So, you know, she's going to need a little bit of adjustment. Um, she's very, very affectionate, very responsive. She's active. She, um, who knows what breed she is. Um, she's obviously a South Korean breed dog. To me, she looks like a Whippet. I think I put Whippet mix on the website. Um, as with all dogs, oi, pack it in. As with all dogs, your guess is as good as mine as what they are. You have to look uh. at the dog and decide what you think that breed is and if you've got the lifestyle for that breed. Um, so we've obviously got no clue what she is, but she's around about 25 pounds, I think, something like that. Um, maybe even a bit less. So that is Patricia, South Korea. Then where did Mo go? Mo gone outside. Mo! And um, then who we've got, so here's little Lena. She's adorably sweet. So she was saved from Texas last August. There was three of them, her sister and a brother. Her brother Archer, can we move? Her brother Archer is being fostered by a wonderful family in Southern Maine. So he is having a wonderful life there. Um, so Lena, she's another dog. We haven't got a clue what breed she is. She's got the kind of colorings and look of a kind of a miniature husky. But she's also got that it's little kind of ridgeback deal going on a little Mohican. So who knows? She's probably around about 35, 40 pounds, maybe. Um, she can be very shy. She's like a little troll. She hangs out under the bed. Um, and then it, if anything happens, she comes out like, oh, what's missing out on? So she's obviously very good with other dogs she can be a little bit dominant initially when she meets other dogs she kind of be a protective this is my mum type thing um she's not aggressive she's just obviously testing the water she's just only oh, oh, she's just turned a year in december obviously that's estimated but with her being young it's not going to be too far off so um so she's a young she's active she's a medium-sized dog but she's a high energy dog um, so if you're not an active family, she's not the dog for you. Um, she's very, very sweet, super affectionate. She would be on the bed snuggling all the time if she could, but she clearly can't because as you can see, we have lots of dogs here. Then we have got, so these are mine on a Colt. So Colt is another Texan. He came to us last year. He was a Parvo survivor. He was the only one out of the litter that um, apparently survived. So, um... So, and he got really, really big. He's around about 90 pounds. Um, who knows, lab, mastiff, shepherd, who knows, maybe a bit of pit. Um, but this is Colt. Colt is a bull in a china shop. He charges around, he's a big, big boy. But he plays very gentle with, with the other dogs. Sorry, Dallas. So Stanley, my little boy there, he will wrestle with him all day. Um, and Patricia, him and Patricia are kind of best buddies. And you can obviously see the size difference, 22 pounds, 25 pounds, up to 90 pounds. So he can tone his play down. He can play and body slam and wrestle with the big dogs. Or he can tone it down, And um, although she plays more rough than he does, I think. So Colt knows a few basic commands, but he, like I say, he's big, he's bulky. He doesn't know how big he is. So uh, I'm not going to say he's not going to be good with kids. But, you know, little kids, he might knock them over and everything. Um, Colt's been here a long time. He was here for 
nearly a year before he was adopted and then he got adopted with Patricia and then came back. So he's again, when dogs come backwards and forwards, it's obviously stressful and everything on them. So um, I think my video limit's going to run out. So I'll have to do another one with the other dogs. But like this crazy lunatic here, Jeannie girl. So she's a Malmix. She's a mix.